Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. So last but not least, we have the Claymore Shotgun, the M300 Claymore Shotgun, level 1 unmodded. If you recall from Mass Effect 2, it is a very high damage shotgun, one of the highest damaging weapons in the entire game per shot, similar to the Widow, but it also weighs, it's very heavy, it weighs a tremendous amount, and it is fairly inaccurate. Though not that inaccurate for a shotgun. It also has a low capacity and only one round in the chamber at a time, giving it a very high skill cap and a very small margin of error. But let's try from the hip at short range, or rather very short range. It also has a long reload. So as you can see, this also has a Viper-esque impact decal, and it is very accurate at short range, a very nice grouping. Let's try short range. Here we go. And still very accurate, still headshots are quite doable. Comparable spread and grouping to the katana and the scimitar. As you can see. Very high powered shotgun though. Let's try mid-range. And, just like some of the other shotguns, it would seem this weapon, as far as headshots go, is only effective at very short range and short range, and beyond that you should be going for center mass. And even then, this weapon is not very accurate, though we did get quite a number of pellets, and considering how much damage it does, that might still have been enough to do significant damage to a target, especially if they were at red bar. I actually did kill it. You can see it's at full health. After two shots, it was killed once and reset, so keep that in mind. Alright, so mid to long range when fired from the hip. And yes, we have reached the edge of its effective range. It would seem beyond mid range it is ineffective. Let us try long range from the hip with the Claymore. And as I can already tell, we are no longer effective. Let's now try very short range when fired with the sights. See if it makes a difference. And then compare that to the hip. So unlike some of the other shotguns, the Crusader, the Grawl Spike Thrower, possibly the, the Disciple in particular, does not seem to make a large difference. Maybe very, very slight improvement in our grouping. Let's try short range. Oops. Silly me. I've been doing too many of these things in a row. Alright, so here we go. Let us compare down the sights at short range. Nice grouping there. Two from the hip. I don't know about you, but I do not see a noticeable difference, so let us try mid-range. Down the sights. From the hip. So again, I'm not really seeing a noticeable difference. Pretty comparable. And at mid-range, you should probably be aiming for center mass, though you might be able to get some headshots off. A couple of pellets. Let's try mid to long range. This time we will just be shooting down the sights to see if our effective range is improved. And from what I can see, judging by those huge impact decals, no dice. Let's try long range.
and again, well beyond its effective range. So, to summarize, the Claymore is a very high-powered, very high-damaging shotgun. It has one round in the chamber, it has eight rounds in reserve, it can be fired from the hip at very short range, so point-blank range, and also short range, and reliably get headshots. Beyond that, at medium range, you should probably be aiming for center mass, so you might be able to get some headshots off as well. Not really sure if that'll be enough to kill an opponent. I suppose we could very quickly check. So try medium range. Actually, a single shot at medium range is still enough to annihilate a target. So keep in mind, this weapon does so much damage that even if you're not terribly accurate at medium range, you still can one-shot them, at least a red-barred opponent like this target. Beyond that, it really is very inaccurate at mid to long range and very long range, and you probably should not be wasting your shots, especially considering you only have one round in the chamber. If you guys do want to pay more attention to how much damage I'm doing, just keep in mind that... If the target is at full health when I'm done shooting, that means I killed it, and it's reset. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and have a good one.